Well, today is the big day that the chicks that I hatched out move from the garage and a very small eight foot long pen to their new home out in this old cinder block building that used to be a well house. There's been chickens in this before, but not any time recently. So today I have to clean this out before I move the birds in. You can see I had some ducks and a pool for them. Uh, there's a robin trapped in here and it's just a big mess. My first task in cleaning this up is to rake all of the old straw out and pick up anything that I don't want dumped in the trails out in my woods because that's where this straw is going to go to help keep the moisture down on the trails and create some extra grip in some low areas. This was dustier than I thought and I probably should have had on a mask, but it's nothing that I haven't done before and I'll probably do again in the future. I'm using our John Deere Gator to load up with all of the bedding that I raked up. And I have a huge scoop shovel somewhere, but I couldn't find it. And I didn't want to use a pitchfork because there's so much fine dirt in this pile. I don't want to leave it behind. So I'm just using this small scoop shovel because it was convenient. You can see that robin still flying around in there. And I definitely want to get her out and help her out. So I thought if I moved to one end of this pen, she'd be able to fly out because there's a big opening there. And she definitely didn't, so now I have to climb inside and try to catch her. Catching her wasn't very hard when I used this net. And I just picked her right up and let her out, and she took off unharmed. While I'm in here, I might as well get out this old pool that I had in here for the ducks. And then I'll move back inside the building. I thought I'd try using the power washer to clean up a little more in here and flush out some of the cobwebs and bugs that were in here, along with the dirt that was built up on the walls and on the floor. It didn't work as well as I hoped, but I did get some out, so it wasn't a waste of time. After letting the pen on the inside dry for a little while, I started picking up some of the other random stuff that was laying around, cleaning up inside, and spreading out some fresh straw for these chicks. And then I just had to carry them out here and put them in the building, and it didn't take them long at all to get adapted to the building and happy to see their water with fresh water and a bucket full of fresh food. All 20 chicks made it out here just fine and the dogs are certainly excited to have them in a new home where they're not reliant on me opening the garage door to see them. Willow is just fixated on these birds and loves the birds. She just wants to do nothing but herd them And this is a look at their new pen, plenty big enough for the birds to grow up and enjoy the rest of their lives in.